In this episode, we discuss how keeping in touch with your professors and having a good relationship can put you in position to win. Hey, 1% Nation, I'm Jake Voorhees, and you are watching episode 40 of the 1% Engineer Show, where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their career. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys an example of how staying in touch with your professors throughout your professional career, and also in your student career, can lead you to opportunities, can lead you to nice resume boosters, can lead you to connections to other people in the industry. And I'll give you a story about what happened to me, myself, just here tonight, and how you can learn from that and hopefully relate it to your student, your young professional engineering road and learn from that and apply it to your own situation. One of my favorite professors, Dr. Rusty Lee, he's at University of Delaware where I went to school, he teaches a transportation course, he teaches several other graduate level and traffic related courses at UD, that's his field of expertise, operations and systems management within traffic ecosystems. I was a grader for his class my junior year at Delaware and had really good relationships with several of his colleagues. For those of you who don't know, I did research in undergrad as well. So the professors knew about me. I put myself on their radar by going out of my way to volunteer, be a grader, do a research project with a professor. So I've kept in touch with these professors and here I am eight years out of school, just moving back to the area four months ago and my professor is inviting me into his office because he needs a professional liaison for the ITE student chapter at Delaware. ITE is Institute of Transportation Engineers. This is my field, this is my demo, this is my focus area in my career. And he's giving me an opportunity to bridge the professional world, which is me, with the student world and really revive this student chapter because they've had a lot of limited enthusiasm, energy, and participation in this group. They do this really cool event called the Traffic Bowl in the spring, which allows traffic-related grad students and undergrads to compete in what is now a international competition about traffic-related trivia. They literally have created a Jeopardy-style event for traffic engineers, and that's the traffic bowl as thrown by ITE, and they can barely get three people together to compete in it, even though we crush all the local schools and then lose to Penn State in regionals each year. But what I'm talking about here, guys, the takeaway from this video is that if you keep in touch with your professors, which I have done for now eight years out of school, you can land opportunities for yourself, for your career, to network with other people, to stand out, to get involved with some more things besides your job, to get involved with some more things besides your student activities. I can give you another example for you students, for you freshmen, sophomore, even junior engineers. If you keep in touch with your professors from early on in your university road, you're allowing yourself to be on their radar and maybe this situation can happen for you even while you're still in school. You will be asked to be a president. You'll be asked to start a new club. You'll be asked to spearhead this new thing. You're asked to speak at an event. You'll be asked for who knows what, but maintaining relationships with your university professors is the core thesis of this video. It's the core tip here. And I'm giving you a story about what happened to me just here tonight, just two hours ago, literally. And it makes me so happy that I can help out this professor. It makes me so happy that I can continue to mentor students and talk about my transportation traffic career and hopefully inspire them and help them along the way. It makes me so happy to just get more involved and add another thing to my list of stuff that I'm involved with and just add it up, add it up, add it up. So say yes to everything, get involved with everything. The more that you do, the more that it opens doors in terms of allowing you to do more. You never know where that next relationship is coming from. You never know where that next opportunity is coming from. So you have to keep in touch with high profile people that you meet, like professors, they are so well connected, you have no idea all the people that these people know. So please, please, please keep in touch with them. Start it out strong. Don't allow that communication to drop off after you leave school. And even while you're in school, go drop in, say hi, say what's up, keep the emails going, invite them to coffee, invite them to lunch, but keep in touch with the professors because they can dramatically impact your career in a positive way. If you guys want the 1% Engineer Kit, which is five eBooks, a resume template, and a cover letter template, comment below and I'll make sure you get a link to that. And if you enjoyed this video, guys, if you're enjoying the 1% Engineer Show, guys, consider subscribing because 
I release videos on Wednesdays, lately Saturday and Sunday with engineering student lessons so you can crush it in your career and become a 1% engineer. Thanks for watching the 1% Engineer Show, guys, and stay hungry on your quest to become a 1% engineer. Cheers!